What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, ignore the haze on the screen right now. My phone is messed up and uh, I'm hopefully getting a new one soon, so make this quick. Um, this is my 2008 Ford Edge Limited all-wheel drive 3.5 V6 automatic. The uh, wife that's been driving this has been saying that uh, it's made a very weird sound and noise and said it's like a wobble sound. I'm like, well, what the hell is a wobble sound? And uh, she's like, well, just drive it. And I said, okay. It almost feels and sounds like when a, a U-joint goes bad um, or when a carrier bearing is starting to go bad and you get that vibration in the floor and that kind of like a, that noise of like it's like a U-joint is fighting itself almost. Um, what I found is the transmission mount oh, is actually bad. Now on this engine, car, whatever, this is the front of the front of the vehicle, oil filter, oil pan, okay? This right here is the transmission mount. Here's what happened to mine. My power transfer unit, this guy up there, went bad last year. Leaking fluid like crazy. This got soaked in gear oil and uh, that caused it to uh, destroy, um, let me see if I can get a better video here, um, destroy the rubber bushings in here. There's a bolt that goes through here and a bolt that goes through here. This is a heat shield. Okay, this here is just all full of uh, gear oil still and water and it's all soft and this is completely destroyed. Now, this is my second attempt at the video trying to move this so you can see the play in here. Um, this is on the, that's why the video was so grainy up, uh, originally is you're on normal mode. Now I'm going to try and move this to see if you guys can see it. Oh, man, it's really hard to move this with one hand, especially my not dominant hand. What's happening is that when I move the whole end, uh, the, the um, exhaust, the entire engine, transmission, and PTU move in this, in this bushing here. It's got so much play that the whole thing I if I'll be better I know it's really hard to see on the video um, there you go what's happening is that the bolt inside of this the bushing is gone and so the bolt is actually moving a good half an inch front and back. So as you're drive well, as we're driving and the motor is getting torque on it, it's it's moving backwards and forwards, creating the U-joint to be going backward or the uh, drive shaft going backwards and forwards on the car. And I believe this is what the problem is of why um, we have that uh, going on. Like I say, it's really hard to move this all with just my left hand without having something to hold the camera with um, but this is bad and it's got a good half inch of play in here um, the bushing is you really can't see it um, but the bushing inside of there and inside of this are just completely destroyed this at AutoZone is $120 by me in Wisconsin Rock Auto doesn't sell it Amazon had it for 50 bucks it'll be here within uh, four days so if you guys have a vehicle that's all-wheel drive, and honestly even front-wheel drive, and you've got a very weird noise um, or vibration, check your motor mounts and your transmission mount. If your engine shakes really bad at idle, you probably got a bad motor mount on the side of the engine. This is the transmission mount rear. They call it the rear transmission mount on this. When you load the engine, the whole thing wants to go back, and, and this will start to move, and everything on here moves like this at idle. It's it's pretty bad and it's bad enough definitely to replace and if your PTU ever was leaking oil this is probably going to be bad because of that. So check this out. All you got to do is if I had two hands you take a, your two hands on this on the exhaust um, and just all you got to do is work it see if I can oh 
man. That's tough to do with one hand, especially my non-dominant one, but you can see that when I move this, the whole engine stuff goes back and forth on this mount. Um, so, that is what the issue with this is. Um, you know, I checked the drive shafts and all that, or the drive shaft and the axles and all that stuff, and they were fine. Um, so I'll make a video of how to replace that later on, but uh, it's on the checkout. So I uh, hope you guys uh, hope to help somebody out. Um, if you have an Agilent vehicle and you're not sure what's going on with it, um, you know, ask questions. We're all here to help. Also, this is the motor mount on the passenger side of the edge right here. Is this big ass honking thing? And then the one on the driver's side, if I can even see it. Nope, sure can't. Um, there's one down in there, but uh, yeah, so that's all for now. Um, hope you liked the video. Hopefully it helps somebody out. And uh, any questions, uh, get back to me. I'll talk to you guys later.